Communication is always vital when competing in tournaments. Winning a match requires perfect coordination. You cannot win by yourself. Raid Call. Communication for winners. Alive or dead, who would you like to meet? Lord and Savior, all praise. Hail Zybac. My, my, my Savior. There's so many people who I would love to meet, and a lot of them are dead, some of them are alive. The majority of them are dead, though. Uh, I think my top two would definitely be Abraham Lincoln and Ronald Reagan. Tupac. Um, a West Coast rap fanboy, and, you know, Tupac all the way. Um, I live in New York, but I don't really like Biggie. This is a really easy, easy question for me. Carl Sagan. He's been an inspiration to me since I was really young, and I'm talking like, um elementary school um you know he's he's not around anymore wish he was uh i wouldn't accept neil degrasse tyson as um as a comparable substitute i'd like to have a few good conversations with him a bit uh that we can talk about a lot i would have said felicia day but i already met her so uh, who do i want to meet uh, Right, I'm gonna go with one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, John Tron. I'd love to meet him. He is hilarious. He's so funny. Uh, I don't want to plug any channels here, but yeah, I would love to meet him. He's uh, him and Tobuska are my favorite YouTubers. I'd probably like to meet Megan Fox. That's right. Look at that picture right there, huh? I mean, I do not want to meet that, but. Uh... I'm sure after she takes a shower, all that makeup washes off, but, you know, I'll meet her with the makeup on, definitely. So honestly, like, I really don't have any particular person, like, I just, I'm dying to meet you, and you died 200 years ago, like, I don't, eh, you know, whatever. I'd probably just want to meet someone alive today, and really, I'm not really into celebrities, I'm not really into politicians or anything. Um, for me, seriously, I'd want to meet my favorite YouTuber who makes videos. As lame and as nerdy as that sounds, her name is Mika Kitty. She's probably the best YouTuber out there, by far. So honestly, like she'd probably be the one I want to meet. James Hetfield, the lead singer for Metallica, would be one that I would love to meet simply because his career was very interesting. Uh, he, he went through; it was underground. The only way you could see it was if you, uh, you know, owned their tapes at the time, or you went and saw their concert. And then they went mainstream and took a lot of flack for that. But then they did increase their audience. And then they uh, they had some controversies years ago too, which they had to overcome when they stood up for uh, artists' rights, and they, they took the brunt of that for a while. Um, and then now they with the evolution of you know different band members and everything, it's just that I do uh, I love their music, but I also do respect the fact that he's overcome many challenges uh, in the music career to still produce excellent quality music, in my opinion. I think that. The easiest answer for me, and, and probably the truest answer, is despite the uh, despite the impracticality of this, what I'd like to do, um, I'd really like to meet and probably give a huge hug to everyone who's ever supported me um, on YouTube or streaming, because it's honestly you guys who make this dream a reality for me. So I know that when we were in we were in Florida. Uh, visiting Swifty in Orlando, uh, we had a, a viewer meetup, and that was honestly probably one of the coolest experiences I've ever had in my entire life, getting to meet the people who, you know, have supported me through YouTubing, supported me through streaming, watch the videos, uh, you know, do everything that I could ask to help, you know, make my dream a reality. And, and it, I don't think, for me, it's like the connection that we have it's like I'm just making videos because I because I like making videos I love making videos for the people who watch them and they watch the videos and you know give the feedback and do everything just because they enjoy the videos too but what ends up happening is this really really cool relationship of you know something that couldn't really have happened even just a little while ago and something that I couldn't really even have dreamed of a short while ago and that's something that I appreciate, like I said, from the bottom of my heart, and I'd really love to meet and give you guys a hug just because of exactly what we've been able to, to do together, and I think that's awesome. So I definitely want to meet everybody who's ever supported me on YouTube or streaming, that's for sure. Michael Jordan would be the person that I would meet. Um, either that or William Shatner. I just think it'd be a great laugh. Now, the reason why I picked uh, Michael Jordan is because uh, he didn't just have everything handed to him. He just 
I don't know, I just find him inspirational with the problems that I have uh, with my feet and stuff like that. Uh, you know, like having no ankle on my left foot. And if you want to know more, I'll make a video on that. But uh, just the fact that he got uh, rejected in his first trial and then uh, come back to be one of the best players probably ever. And um, I don't know, I just find it really inspiring that just because you get knocked back the first time doesn't mean that you can't come back and do like uh, aspire to greatness essentially so yeah michael jordan would be my pick for sure i would like to meet uh i would like to meet the author william gibson and actually have some time to sit down and, and talk to him uh you know just he's uh it, he, he wrote a book uh that was around the same time that i was born it's called neuromancer um you need to read this book it it, it established the entire cyberpunk genre uh, i've been a big fan of his work uh, all of his short stories uh, i'm a big reader but I, I think i would like to meet william gibson uh, because he, he's basically the guy that coined the term cyberspace um and you know that and, and he in 1980 three he imagined a world where all the computers were connected together in 1983 the the book is is written in the language of today basically it's it's crazy personally it would have to be a musician um and it'd be the lead singer of corn actually anybody in corn i'd like to meet head the uh the, the guitarist the guitarist for uh corn well the the old guitarist for corn he's no longer with corn but it would be anybody in corn either jonathan davis mostly or head this is going to be a bit of a cop out uh, to this question. So, uh, I'm from Sydney, Australia. Uh, I have two best friends uh, back in back in Australia, uh, but I have a lot of mates that I consider family back then. To be honest, I would just really like to go home and see my mates back in Australia. I know it's a cop out, uh, as soon as I can meet anyone alive or dead, but that's it. Morgan Freeman. Alive or dead? Carl Sagan. Uh, it's John Stewart. Yeah. John Stewart would be awesome. John Stewart and Stephen Colbert. Mm. I would so be in that sandwich. Mm. So would I. I want to be in that sandwich. Which only gave your balls touch. That's right. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> so, uh, a. a Neil deGrasse Tyson and Carl Sagan sandwich as well would not complain, but but mostly John Stewart, Steve McIlvery.